Uh, my name is Russell Sinegar. I sorry, just give us a second. I live and work here in Harvey Bay. Is that too loud or is that alright? <clears throat> I live and work in Harvey Bay. Uh, I'd like to think, uh, thank the Distinguished Council for taking the time to be here. Also, um, Adam for uh, inviting me. Uh, my business ties very deeply uh, to the community. Uh, the work that I do, there's no way around it. Everything I do is community based. Uh, it works through uh, my business and I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I do. So the reason I'm here today um, is to share with you a business model, a business template uh, that has been proven successful previously uh, through my own business. Um, the business template or the business model allows for sustainability, uh, jobs, um, it allows for opportunities and the most important thing, it allows for hope. Hope for individuals that might not have had opportunities previously. Okay, so let me tell you uh, a little bit about my beginnings. I'll take it back. I grew up born and bred in Mount Isa, spent 19 years there. Um, I'll give you a picture to think about. Uh, when I was eight years of age, I was working at the Love and Oven Bakery with my grandfather, um, rolling uh, bread rolls and knocking tins and, and working for the Shiavo family. <coughs> That gave me a good work ethic. Uh, it started me along my, my uh, working career. Um, at 14 I left home um, and I've worked ever since. So I've supported myself, raised myself and, and just worked. Um, I come from a very difficult uh, background uh, and I don't need to get into it. Um, but those challenges, I would never say that I've had a hard life because I have seen plenty of people who have had hard lives and struggles. So I was lucky enough after completing my apprenticeship, I um, worked in a, in a hotel, the Conrad International, and I was lucky enough to travel overseas. Uh, when I travelled overseas, I worked for a company, Alison Price. Alison Price was one of the best caterers in the world. Uh, we did the Queen, we cooked for the Queen, Downing Street, Polo, Bloomberg Bank. We built towns, like food towns. It was absolutely amazing. No budget uh, was ever held. Uh, huge uh, Scandinavian uh, ice sculptures. Uh, it was truly a, a magnificent experience. Throughout that, I funded my own travel uh, through Europe quite extensively and spent six months, um, well, all through Europe, um, Ireland, England, Scotland. I then spent six months in South Africa uh, working, but I watched the World Cup cricket, enjoyed myself, safari, um, always going back to London to work for these uh, great companies. On my way home, I'd met my wife and we spent three months through South America and that was fantastic. So when I had finished, when I had finished all my travels and come back to Australia, it had opened my eyes to see how lucky we are, to truly see how lucky we are and to always hold that thankfulness of being Australian and being able to be uh, in a great country. So I'm going to fast forward you now to 2011. Sorry about that. Where I created Bay Fusion Food Design. Bay Fusion Food Design was an idea to work for myself. It gave me work and opportunity um, through my hard work ethic. I didn't realise that it would be successful, but with my wife and myself and long hours, uh, and persistency, um, we have shown. I am a trainer and assessor, um, and I teach commercial cookery. And what I've been able to do with that, I take any candidates. I take long-term unemployed, disadvantaged youth, um, disability, even though I don't like the word. Uh, and I take individuals and I give them opportunity. So. Through my business, I've created Enterprise, and we're six stars strong, three full-time um, apprentices and vocational uh, students. And my successes aren't money-orientated. My successes are people. These are two classes that have split up. The only person in there who is not a, a trainee or an apprentice is Ashley. 
uh, the second from the left, uh, but he is now a chef that works with me and has been with me nearly three years. Um, the rest of the, these guys are what you would collaborate in a disadvantaged area, but they all are now apprentices, trainees, full-time employed from Fraser Island and locally. That there is ongoing support through what I do and making sure that they're taken care of and looked after. I come to... So that's my business and what I do. Um, I have a close affiliation with Bayside Transformations. Uh, Bayside Transformations, if you don't know, is a drug and alcohol rehabilitation centre here in Harvey Bay. They're amazing people. Uh, Darren Yates, Tina, Lisa, Chris. Um, beautiful people who run this organisation from donations and charity. Um, it's not sustainable and it's a business that really needs support. So I've moved in and I work at the, the premises. I have a commercial kitchen there. And I've, <clears throat> I work very closely with uh, these guys in creating enterprise or opportunities. So I have, um, in the recent, had a gala dinner. Next year I have focused on running uh, food stalls at all our local events. It'll just be simple uh, production items, quality sandwiches, wraps, but it's a fundraising initiative that will support the sustainability of the project. What I have created and, and what is special is for the last eight months I've been putting together a business uh, plan. It's to create a business charitable arm for transformations to make it fully sustainable. Uh, this project has been developed by myself and working with my uh, peers. Um, it's coming to fruition. Um, it's very close, so the goal and the concept of it is to <clears throat> we will train food production, we will utilise the man hours from transformations which uh, are available in work therapy to peel and process vegetables, we will deliver uh, nationally recognised training and fully support the program so uh, transformations become sustainable. Sustainable that all the money made from the program and project gets funded back into the endeavour to pay the people <clears throat> who haven't been paid, to pay the staff who have been working as volunteers for the last two years, um, and supporting the ground level of community here in Harvey Bay. <clears throat> um, I'm very thankful to be part of this uh, project. I am one of the driving uh, forces. I don't intend to uh, fail uh, and the model has already been successful uh, with my business and it will be recreated again. The vision that I have is that instead of creating businesses without enterprise, the future is that an enterprise will be sourced and then transformations will be able to place that nationally. So there's already been uh, a request from uh, Melbourne through the Transformations Board. Have we started? Is it successful? Does it look like it will go further? And yes, it will. Of course it will. Um, so I'd just like to read uh, you something as uh, getting the speech ready was uh, lengthy in itself, but I, I didn't want to miss a word of this, so uh, if you bear with me. Don't mind me speaking from the page. <clears throat> my goals and focus. My motivation is to leave a positive impression on the Fraser Coast region, and especially on the lives of those who have been disadvantaged mostly through no fault of their own. Everyone needs someone to believe in them and their ability to be a value to the community. Those who know me understand that monetary gain and public recognition do not drive me. Individuals and their achievements are my reward. The belief that people can change and every individual who wants to better their life circumstances is worth the time, deserves a second chance to prove they are an asset to their community and significant others. In my personal experience, without struggle or hardship, I would have not had the ability to appreciate my success. And this philosophy is something that I would like to instill in those I help in the Greater Fraser Coast. 
I hold fast to saying that a community is known by how it cares for the least privilege of its members. Harvey Bay is a great place to live with many good people. We can all make a difference in the lives of those around us, and I hope that my actions inspire other people to give a bit back for the good of all as well. In summary, I believe that through my work, I am fortunate enough to be an influence to individuals' lives and provide a vehicle for growth and development, which has the capacity to create a sense of community in the Fraser Coast. I would like to end my presentation today with a thank you to a few people who support me. Klaus Huber for helping me develop and shape my creative energy, Pastor Darren Yates for his counsel and ongoing friendship, Craig Winter for his mentoring and wealth of knowledge, and my wife for her devoted and persistent attitude and moral support. I'm confident that Bay Fusion and the training we do will be successful because I know that I'm a good man with positive intentions who surrounds himself with great men. If there's something that I can ask of all of you to take from this is support us, see what we do, support us local, and we will change lives. Thank you for your time.